Here I am at the manor. Somewhere inside it are the Hellenistic treasures. Fair enough. This lock is quite old. It shouldn't be much of a challenge. Well, they're all honestly a bit of a challenge for me. Uh, I don't want that one. I want this one. I don't... Yeah, I don't think that's actually... Yeah, okay. Maybe like that? to find where the safe is hidden and lock pick it well if anyone can do it I'm sure it's Ohms so my guess is the safe will be upstairs but uh, given how this game works we're not going to just rush upstairs this cupboard is an absolute mess well, I'm with you on that one This cupboard is an absolute mess. Is that mess. all I needed to know? Several books have fallen from the shelves. It seems as though this cupboard can be moved. I'll give it a try. Is that right? Oh my word. So that's pretty funny. Here I am thinking that I'm just going to try to find clues in these other rooms and I walk right into the room with the safe so that's the lock <laughs> I must open tonight let me see oh god okay that aligned the top half think that's it yes what a surprise another lock hmm and I won't be able to pick it I recall that precious key around Foley's neck it might prove a decent fit I suppose they hired me to only open the first lock let us wait for the thieves, trap them, and find out. Works for me. Let us check the thieves' possible escape routes in the event that they are caught off guard by the police from the front door. Set the traps at Notting Hill Manor. All right. This door is a perfect means of escape in an emergency. Well, I can see that. A solid rope. <laughs> I can't take it. <laughs> this should be useful. Um, this door is a perfect means of escape in an emergency. Can I? Well, that's what I've already seen. I can't understand why I can't take the rope. It was a solid rope. 
it's just so obvious that that would help me if I wanted to block that door. Okay, whatever. And there's a trap door there, and I can't interact with that at all. That's a little frustrating, too. The ground floor window is a perfect way to escape the police. This works very well. Okay. No one will escape through this window now. Oh, now I can see the stupid hatch. There is no ladder. If anyone falls here, he will need assistance to get out. Well, that's pretty awesome. I love the idea of having that open. <laughs> Some guy comes running through full speed and it's, ah. Um... Now, the problem is, I can't get through anymore. Um, can I close that up again? This hatch leads to a cellar. Okay. Can I get past? That's the question. Okay. Good, good, good. Yeah, that's all I wanted was to get out here. Is there anything upstairs? Obviously, I still need to figure out how to fix that one window. I Although know. Although this window is high above the ground, it would be possible for one of the thieves to attempt to use it for their escape. Okay. This is the perfect place to set a trap. Maybe tie the rope off? That's what I'm thinking. What's this? This should be useful. So I took the bead necklace. I shouldn't have done that yet. Really? One step on these beads, and our thief oh, will go flying. Okay. I should walk carefully here. Else my plan will be ruined. Indeed, my friend. Okay, so I kind of... I was on the right track, but I didn't have it exactly right. Wait. What house has an upstairs? Oh, okay, there's a door. It's just closed off. So, I was thinking we might find something else up here. Uh, because I still don't really know how I'm supposed to block off that one door. Uh, what about over here? Is there anything at all? No, not really. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try. I mean, depending on where people were, they could... Fall on that thing. Carpet examine. This should be useful. Okay. Kitchen door examine. What am I? Block with chair. Okay. The door is now blocked. All right. Okay, so I gotta go back out this way. Thank God you don't go pitching into the cellar. That would be embarrassing. And... Oh, that's it. That's the trap. What's the chandelier about? This old chandelier is doing on the floor. It looks as though it was poorly attached. Um, I suppose that the thieves already tried to open the lock with this formidable hammer, but they were unsuccessful. Hmm. Uh, am I still missing something here? 
Check the possible routes that the thieves could take to escape Notting Hill Manor, to escape Notting Hill Manor and prepare the traps for them. Uh, so it looks like I'm not done because that is still up. Okay. Any that. thief who finds his way upstairs will roll down very quickly. What the heck is the hammer about? Hmm, I don't get it. But you can't the go door here. Is now blocked. Right. You can't get to that. What about this? No. 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 I don't get it. Is there something else about the chandelier? Find a use for an old carpet. What's that about? Where do I need the carpet? That's the question. I truly don't know the answer. Um, I think I found it upstairs, right? But we we kind of already did that. Oh, wait. Watch the guy with the hammer. He smashed open the door. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> what do I do about that? Oh, I get it, I get it, at least as far as this thing goes. I'm supposed to put the carpet on top of it. But how? It's not... Oh, hold on. Let me get out of that. Ugh! Okay. I'm pretty sure I'll put the carpet. Yep. Now, it's not an open hatch. Just a nice carpet on the floor. I should walk carefully here, else my plan will be ruined. Okay, fair enough, but... Can I possibly take this stupid this rope? Be useful. Yes. It still seems silly to me that I couldn't do it earlier, but whatever. Okay. Step lively, Holmes. Now, let's go back here. You know we gotta use this stupid chandelier. Yeah. Uh... Okay. And hang the chandelier. Now, if anyone takes the hammer, the rope will uncoil and make the chandelier fall. But that's pretty awesome. Okay. So I think we're if done. He through the dining room and takes a sledgehammer to force open the door, the chandelier will knock him down. Now, if a thief runs through the kitchen, He'll pay a surprise visit to the cellar. The traps for my circus companions are all prepared. I can leave now, but I'll return later with Charles Foley and his companions. Police! Police! Stop where you are! Where are they? Trapped, Watson, with your assistance. How so? Well, you sounded just like a real Bobby, my dear fellow. You startled them into the traps. I did? I assure you, Watson, it was quite an entertaining show. They will not escape the house now. You scum! And this 
is the pistol used for the murder in Half Moon Street. How do you know about that? Have you closed the case yet, Sherlock? Mycroft, what are you doing here? Did you follow me? Sherlock, it may seem that I used you, but you should be pleased to know that you have served our Queen well in this instance. So now, let us catch the big fish. But this man is not one of the merry men. No. Then why exactly are we here, Sherlock? This gentleman, Charles Foley, has been involved in a double murder and the hunter of a set of valuable antiques, the Hellenistic treasures, which disappeared in a theft many years ago. You're no better than a coppers! Let's see what's inside. Holmes, that is incredible. The Hellenistic treasures. Indeed. Nothing but trifles. Where are the merry men? I don't know why you are asking me, Mycroft. They are yours to find. I'll see you soon, dear brother. Famous collection of Hellenistic treasures that was considered to be lost was found in the safe of the abandoned manor at Notting Hill. And it was stolen from the British Museum in 1885. It has not been found since then. What's well, been found now, boys? The antiques discovered inside the hidden safe uh, represent, the, yeah, okay, we kind of already seen that. Foley's Vengeance. Charles Foley organized the theft. <laughs> he organized the theft of the Hellenistic treasures, which was related to the double murder at Half Moon Street. Leighton Chapman was a witness to the crime. I can absolve Foley. He'll be imprisoned for organizing a grand theft. Since he is not directly guilty of murder, his sentence will be shortened. Interesting that absolve is over here on the left. Condemn has always been over here before. Charles Foley organized and executed a wicked plan of revenge with the added theft of ancient and valuable treasures. He deserves the rope. Well, you know, the problem is I really don't know to what extent he manipulated circumstances for murder. Um... I'm a little shaky on that. It does seem like maybe he sent one man to kill another. But yeah, it's funny because he is clearly a bad guy. I just don't know if we have proof to condemn him for murder. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I, I, I'm i going to say he's not directly guilty of murder. He may be guilty of hiring murder, but I don't know that. And I'm not going to say he is guilty when we really don't know. So I guess for the first time in the six cases, I'll go absolve, even though this dude is scum. Charles Foley, you were a witness to a double murder. You were standing next to Vercotti when Butler fired at your accomplice. The jeweler missed him, but they proceeded to kill each other with simultaneous shots. Even if your intention was to retrieve the stolen treasure, you did not intend to kill. I shall inform Inspector Lestrade of that fact, so your sentence should be the lighter. You are a fine gentleman. With your fake pity. I do what I think is right. It is never due to pity. Farewell, Foley. I shall leave now, Watson. Gentlemen, please take our friends here into custody. Where are you going? I have unfinished business. I'll see you at Baker Street.
Be careful with the lamps. Don't bring them too close to the barrels. Good evening, gentlemen. Who's there? That is of no importance. What matters is who you are and the plans that you have here. <laughs> so you can stop us from carrying them out? Eventually, yes. Hey, careful. You'll blow us all up. I'm listening. We are a group known as the Merry Men. But I suppose you knew that already. We are the men who've already lost everything of value in their lives. We are ruined shopkeepers. We are workers who were fired from their jobs. Honest people who were robbed. We were forced out from our homes and thrown onto the street. And all of this in the name of the so-called law. The laws that were set out by our government. The laws that make the commoners only more vulnerable and the wealthy more protected. We are not only from the British Empire. Some of us are from the New Lands, America, Australia, and we are many. But men, we are still, and we are merry for that we stopped being afraid. For those powers that be had done their best to plant the fear inside our souls, and we accepted it so easily. The fear advised us to keep our heads bowed. It prevented us from fighting. Bankers and politicians, they own our lives, our work, our bread. And they push us to compete between each other, just to see who may serve them better. But in the end, they are the few, so they are weak. They are nothing without their titles. We should not fear them. Our so-called masters should fear us instead. The time has come for our group to stand tall. Our great and many merry men. We are going to blow up the London Stock Exchange. No life shall be lost. But ownerships, debts, and property titles? They shall all be destroyed. They're only papers, after all. So many people will be freed over this night. That is a radical step to take. What result do you truly expect? Chaos. But soon people will understand that they are free, and that they don't belong to anyone. They will be able to work for themselves, together, without letting the rulers dictate what to do, and finally justice will arise. What you are intending to do is a crime. It is not justice. How do you see justice, then? Kids go to prison for a loaf of dry bread. And how many lords do you see punished for stealing from their people, sending them to their deaths in mines or overseas to fight for land? Our masters wouldn't hear us. So now it's time to sing the song of the Merry Men. Will you let us do our duty? Uh, no I won't. When people fight the Order, they are too blind to see the consequences that throw society into chaos. I shall stop your actions, but not you. Run. Now! So, you're interested in Russian literature now? Quite, lately. It is an interesting book. I remember a few lines. Really? I tried reading it myself, but I had a hard time understanding it. Yes, Doctor. It's about intelligence. Sherlock, I vaguely recall one of the lines. Sometimes it takes something more than intelligence to act intelligently. Mm. There were also a few words along the lines of Pain and suffering are always inevitable for a large intelligence and a deep heart. Mm. Tell me, Doctor, does my brother show any signs of pain or suffering? Uh, not that I know of. Because you see, Doctor, behind all of his masquerade, my brother does possess a deep heart. So deep that he does not recall where he places his love. Well, I'm sure that... Uh... His love and his duty that, in the first place, should be directed towards the Empire. For without it, we would be nothing. 
A country filled with uncivilized men. And the Empire needs order and discipline. It has no room for chaos. People who commit crimes, or at the very least intend them, deserve punishment, Sherlock. Without justice, there can be no civilization. But we serve the truth, not justice. Your truth, Doctor, that may prove immoral. Allowing people to terrorize London, destabilizing the whole Empire. Terrorize only the powers whom you serve, Mycroft. Not I, not Watson, not Mrs. Hudson, not Wiggins. Sherlock, the Merry Men are to be stopped. Not by me. You created the Merry Men. Stop them yourself. Only make sure that you don't create ten more Merry Men by arresting the one. Good night, Dr. Watson. Anything in the post, Watson? Any clients worthy of our attention? Only a second reminder from Mrs. Hudson about our new neighbor. She urges you to remove your... Oh, I don't care about that. Holmes, the lady who will be moving in shortly has requested the use of our spare room to place all of her boxes. Wait, what? A... a lady? What a way to end it. Okay, well, um, we solved the crime finally by blaming Foley, but only for the robbery. And we absolved him of murder. We found all the clues. Uh, Foley's vengeance was the correct solution. I'm going to go ahead and accept so we can see what other people said well 96 percent solved it the same way i wonder if this is on your first pass i suspect it's your final pass i would love to know how many people when they were just presented with the solution that wiggins brother um was guilty took it and then found out it was wrong and and went back um, maybe not that many Maybe the 96 is just, you know, people kept plugging away like I did. I don't know. Um, so this is actually fascinating because I've been kind of going against the grain on the moral choices. Maybe I overthought it because it's certainly not like I was saying this guy, you know, didn't deserve to go to prison. Um, and maybe I just didn't remember some of the the things that had been revealed well enough. You know, maybe if I reviewed the facts, I would have condemned him. I don't know. Uh, but it just seemed to me that what he was guilty of was more robbery rather than murder. So 84% uh, of people didn't make that choice. Uh, you know, maybe they're right. I don't know. So that is the end of the game. That's uh, all six cases. I hope you enjoyed watching. I must say, I actually did enjoy playing it. Um, any complaints I had were really pretty trivial. And um, I think doing a mystery game is really hard. Because, you know, I'm not Sherlock Holmes. And if you make me be that observant and have that level of deduction skills, then I will just fail. And I'll get stuck on the first case, and uh, that'll be that, you know? And that's not really fun. That's not a good game. And I think what they do in this game really well is give you a chance to kind of step into Holmes' shoes and see things through his eyes, but you don't have to be super clever and all of these other things to do that. And uh, the story is well written. It, it's very enjoyable. So... That's my take on it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. And I hope we see you next time.